In this episode, I want to make reference to a very important accompaniment to obesity called the polycystic ovarian disease. This is probably the most common form of infertility and it occurs probably in as many as 15 to 20 percent of all women. It's characterized by uh, irregular periods and sometimes uh, in incapacity to get pregnant and accompanying it is also a uh, increase in male hormones, particularly the male hormone testosterone which is being produced by the ovary. Now what's interesting about this is that if you deal with the obesity or at least the excess insulin that may or may not be accompanied by obesity then this disease can be reversed. I'm going to read you a um, case report from my book Your Fat to Make You Thin that illustrates what I'm talking about. Marie, age 35, had been married for 15 years but had not been able to get pregnant. Her periods which began in her mid-teens had been irregular and she would often go as long as three months without one. She was five foot two inches tall and weighed 250 pounds. She also complained of acne, facial hair growth, and loss of scalp hair. Blood tests showed features consistent with polycystic ovarian disorder. Increased androgens, that's male hormone, and hyperinsulinism, which is excess insulin. A pelvic ultrasound confirmed the presence of significant ovarian cysts. Marie was treated with a low-calorie, low-carbohydrate diet plus increased exercise to reduce the insulin that was driving her to overproduce androgens from the ovary. She reduced her weight to 170 pounds, losing about 2 pounds a week on the average. She planned to lose another 40 pounds before attempting to get pregnant. The less she weighed, within reason, the easier her pregnancy would be and the more likely it would be uncomplicated. An additional feature of the treatment of polycystic ovarian disorder is that when one uses a medication that is uh, appropriate in diabetes called metformin, which increases the power of insulin to lower the blood sugar so that you need less insulin. This is called an insulin sensitizing agent. But this has come to be used very useful in the treatment of polycystic ovarian disease because accompanying the program I've just described, metformin leads to fertility in a considerable number of cases. Now there are other adjuncts that could go with this, that is there are uh, ovulation inducing medicines that can accompany this, but the major, major improvement that comes with polycystic ovarian disorder is related to weight loss, in particular directed toward reducing the insulin that is the offender. So this is an important disorder and we commonly do not recognize it in time to help these people. They can be helped greatly.